Hello friends, welcome to my channel, Myself Parag Dambulkar. In this video, we will see different ways to allocate values to variables in C++ programming language. So in C++ programming language, there are three ways to allocate values to variables. So one way is by using equal to sign, another way by round brackets, and third way by using curly brackets. So here you can see. Uh, by the equal to sign, we are allocating this uh, 3 to variable var1, which is of type int. So, we can take any data type, float, double, any data type, we can take type int. And here, uh, by using curly brackets, we are allocating value 3 to variable var3, which is of type int. We will run this program. So, got compiled. We did not get any error. And we are getting output okay so value 3 is getting allocated to var 1 so this is from this uh, value 3 is getting allocated to var 2 this is from this and 3 uh, it is allocated to var 3 this is from this so in this way there are three ways to allocate values to variables in c++ programming language but there is one issue when we are allocating value by using curly brackets so that we will discuss so what i am doing here, instead of 3, I am making it 3.14. Again, here I am making 3.14. So, here also I am making 3.14. Now, see what I am doing. I am allocating this double value. It is a decimal point value. So, this value I am allocating. So, uh, by default, its type is double. So, this double value I am allocating to integer variable, right? And this is called as a narrowing conversion narrowing conversion why did we call it narrowing conversion because see this is double value right and double has higher range it requires large memory and in has a short range and requires uh, less memory so when we are converting large range to the uh, smaller range or uh, from the larger memory to the smaller memory then it is called as a narrowing conversion so we are convert converting this double value to in and uh, narrowing conversion leads to the loss of accuracy okay so that is a different issue but this is a narrowing conversion as we are converting double value to integer value so what we will do we will uh, comment this and we will check the effect of or impact of this narrowing conversion so now see what i am doing here i am allocating this double value to this integer variable we will run this So no error and when I am running this, so I got the output. So see here I have mentioned 3.14 but here I am getting the output 3. This is because this is uh, example of narrowing conversion. So uh, there is implicit conversion, implicit conversion of value 3.14 to 3 and that's why there is a loss of accuracy. So because of narrowing conversion, there is a loss of accuracy. So actual value was 3.14. So there was implicit type casting and it got converted to 3. Now see next time here. So I will remove this comment. I am saving this and again we will run this. So again there is no error when I am running this. So I got the output right. So this is from this and this second line from this. So we did not get any error. So by this way we can allocate. Okay, so there is an implicit conversion. Okay, implicit uh, conversion of this 3.14 to 3. Now here we will try. So here I am removing this comment. I am saving this and will compile it. Now see here I got the error. Narrowing conversion of 3.14 form double to in inside these curly brackets so see uh, when we are trying to do this so when there was three so there was no error right uh, uh, we can allocate this three to var three by using this curly bracket because when we run that so at that time we did not get any error but when i am making 3.14 when this is a double value right it is a floating point value when it is a double value and i am trying to allocate to int right so there is a narrowing conversion 
so for this there was no error for this there was no error but when i am trying to allocate by using curly brackets i am getting error here i am getting error so actually compiler is telling us that we are doing narrowing conversion there may be loss of accuracy so compiler is informing us so we are doing the narrowing conversion so this is the difference between this different assignment uh, ways so uh, in c++ language there are three ways to allocate uh, uh, there are three ways to assign values to variable but in c language there is only one way okay so by this only we can allocate value if we try by this or this then we will get the error so we'll try that try this so see uh, i have commented this line same program whatever the program uh, uh, i have written in c++ language same program i have taken in c language okay so i have commented this line now we'll run this so we'll run this c program by using gcc compiler so see no error and we got this output from this now uh, i will remove this comment and i will check whether it is allowed in uh, c language by using uh, to allocate value by using this round bracket so we'll check it so got see here when i compile the, compile this program so i got error so this is not allowed in c language to allocate value by using this round brackets so i will comment it out now uh, we will check whether it is, is it possible to allocate values by using this curly brackets so i have removed uh, these comments from these lines we will check it so again we got the error so when we are trying to allocate value by using this curly brackets we are getting error so that means in c language there is only one way to allocate values to variable and that is by using equal to sign we are talking about c language but in c++ language there are three ways to allocate values to variable one by equal to sign another by round brackets and third way is by using curly brackets so friends i hope you like this video if is then click on like subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video so stay connected thank you